any smart car in the faculty of engineering, call me, okay? My office is in uh, uh, ETV216. Call me. You know what I'm going to do? We're going to flip the car over, right? It's so small, it's so lightweight, but upon impact, it can withstand the stress. Why? Because it's using uh, low alloy. This material, wood ball, dual face steel and trip steel, are known as low alloy, high strength steel. Sorry, low carbon, high strength steel. Okay, amazing, right? A car that's small, okay? Right, so that is for our, uh, our bumper beam. Okay, next, we are going to look into... Okay, next, we are going to look into our... So let me see, is there... Yeah, but... If we if we use USBO, you, you are not afraid on how to deform it anymore, right? So next we are going to look at our front side pillar. Okay, we will look at our front side pillar. So the function is the function is to what? Absorb, right, the energy during impact, right? So what do I mean by that? So absorb energy during impact. So what, what we mean by that is from 120 kilometers per hour, we are going to let it go to zero kilometers per hour in 0 0.5 seconds, half a second. That's a lot of energy. Okay, so that's the purpose of, that is the purpose of what? Of the uh, front side pillar. Now, let's look at this number. The purpose is to absorb what? Energy. Absorb energy means we allowed it to what? Means we absorb energy means, absorb energy means the front side pillar Right, front side pillar. Is able to collapse. It can be what? It can be crushed. It's able to what? Collapse. So now, that's a very good hint. What material will you use? Anyone? Uh, a trip 800? No. Trip 800? Anyone no. else? I don't think dual, uh, dual face. Dual face. Okay. So we have we have family business that is trip eight hundred. We have family business that is dual face deal. But no one wants to put who choose Uzbo, right? So for this case, right, we are gonna select okay, dual face deal. Six hundred should be used. for front side pillar. Sir, can you tell that uh, uh, directly from those numbers or do you have to look at the area under the curve to see which no, one? No, I can look at the numbers, issues? right? I want it to be strain rate sensitive. Right? Okay. So, right? right? Yeah. So I want to know why would you select dual face steel 600 over the AC 1045? AC or oh, AISI 1045, this is because it's too low. Right? So C, this is because C is equal to what? C is equal to 0 0.125. Okay, let me draw for you, sketch for you. Okay, well, well, what I'll do now, I'll sketch for you the, 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 the stress drain curve now. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll sketch for you the, the stress drain curve now. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll sketch for you now. Okay. So let's say now this is our stress drain curve. Okay, this is our strain and this is our stress. Okay, so let's say we pick AISI 1045. So AISI 1045 is 553.1. Okay, so 553.1. So this is 500. This is 1,000. This is 1,500, right? So 553.1, right? So this is AISI 
1045. And then when the strain rate increases, it just increases this amount, for example. So this is AISI 1045. So this one, the strain may be 10 per second. This one, the strain rate is maybe 1,000 per second. Right? Now we, we pick what? We pick uh, 1, 2, 0. Do a phase deal. So we're going to start low. Right? We're going to start low. Right? And then we're going to go high. Right? And then because... So this this is this is this is uh this is uh dual phase six hundred. So this one the strain is this one the strain is ten one over a second. Okay, one over a second. I do apologize. And then upon impact because zero point one two five is so high now it, it comes here. Okay, so this is your 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 strain at one thousand. Right. So it can cover more what? If you look at here, it can cover, if you, if you, if you look at them, okay, you, it's, it's known that dual phase steel can cover more area, right? So for, for the front side pillar, you want an uh, area under stress strain curve to be as big as possible when strain rate increases or the speed of deformation what? Increases. That's why for this case, you, you select what? You, we tend to select the dual phase steel. Now, when I'm teach, as I said before, I taught this, the, the, the first time I taught this uh, lecture was not to a university. It was to a company that, that uh, manufactured performance car with carbon fiber, okay? And I showed the engineer what does C means, okay? It means the quicker it goes, right? The higher the deformation rate, right? Higher deformation rate, higher deformation rate, more energy can be what? Can be absorbed, yes or no? This is because of the area under the what? The stress sinker. Then he asked me this question, Eugene, this is really, really scary territory that you are telling us. I say, what is so scary about it? Means you tell me when I'm going to knock onto a wall, I don't slow down, I go quicker. <laughs> yes or no? Does that make sense, right? Higher deformation, right? Higher deformation uh, speed, right? The stress strain curve increases. What's the problem with that concept, anyone? Hello? You don't know how fast you wanna go. Huh? You don't know how fast you wanna go. Well, I will go, I go as fast as possible. Eugene say, the faster the deformation speed, I can absorb more energy. But what's the problem with that concept? That you're absorbing a lot of energy, you want to die? I... Hey, no, because I, I mean, you're partly right, you you're wanna, close. You don't uh, want to absorb all the energy, you want to tra like, transmit some of it as well, right? No, so the, the there faster, must be a limit. there is a limit. So, why is this limit based on anyone? The faster you argue, there's more energy created. Yeah, but what is that formula? Is it based on the breaking point? Yeah? Is it based on the conservation of energy? Is the squid that's my problem? Yes or no? <laughs> right? Is the squid that's problem? So the, the 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 conservation of energy, you're absolutely right. The kinetic energy changed to deformation energy. We need a much more what area under the what? stress strain curve so the moral of the story is when you want to knock something or when 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 uh, 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 unless you're committing suicide it's different but when you're uh, when you're hitting a car that is stopped in front of you don't go quicker okay go for the brakes yes or no okay this is the problem is is because kinetic energy is going to half mv squared Okay, the increase based on deformation is not uh, the area is not a squared at all it's not okay Right, the, 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 it's not a squared, okay? Right, so that is what we will use for our front side pillar, is we will use a dual phase steel. Okay, the next material that we're gonna look at is gonna be 
uh, rear side pillar. Now, the rear side pillar is a tricky one. Okay, the rear side pillar is a tricky one. Let me tell you why the rear side pillar is a, the function. Right, the function of the rear side pillar is to absorb okay, most of the energy upon impact like the front but the, you have to it has a catch however okay have to protect the rear passenger and what 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 is at the rear of the car? The passenger and what? The fuel tank. Yeah. The gas tank. Okay. What will happen if if if, if upon impact it hit it hits the gas tank? Anyone? What will happen? Explosion. Boom. Right? It will go what? Baboom. Hey? It will explode. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, I mean, it will not explode, but the gas will leak and then ignite gas on the road. It will ignite. Yes or no? Right? Uh, gasoline don't explode. Not as bad as diesel. Diesel will, in fact, explode if the pressure is very high. Right? Okay. So, let me ask you a question. What do you call an exploding monkey? Anyone? We talk about explosion, right? But what do you call an exploding monkey? Anyone? Baboon. Baboom! Yes, before we go for a break, okay? So now it's 8 o'clock. Baboom! Okay, we go for a break. We come back at 8.15. I'll see you guys later. Go go and smoke something, okay? Go and enjoy something, okay? It's miserable time. I'm wearing a shirt like this because I feel that I'm, I'm like in prison, okay? I'll see you guys later. I'll stop recording now. <laughs>